Shalom, Shalom, Kahalah, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. In the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Abar from the Prophets in Babylon. I came down here in Tampa, Florida. Um, I give double honor to the elders and apostles of the great ministry. I'm teaching real well. Peace and citation to the whole folk like scattered abroad. And this video you see right here is a beautiful video from the brother GMS Hawaii Ba. Okay, he says, Babylon, the city of confusion. I would advise you to go watch and follow this brother. You know, um, very, 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 very edifying video, man. And um, I thought I would just add my my, my, my uh, two cents onto it because, you know, um, I remember being in high school and they had the, these um, days where they had, um, we called it something called Spirit Week. That's what they called it. They called it Spirit Week, right? And the Spirit Week, every different, every day they had, like, peep, 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 the, the, the students were told to dress a different way. Okay. And one of the ways they were told to dress was called Gender Swap Day at um, it was called gender swap day all right and gender swap day was when literally kids you know what well, 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 really these are adults man you know these are high schoolers this man got a grown got a guy got a, a, a damn beard on his face with a dress on okay and they would come to school and and, and the men would wear dresses and skirts trying to be funny and then the women would would would, 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 would wear um the boy clothes or whatever their their, their, their brother's clothes or whatever or they boyfriend's clothes or whatever trying to be funny but this is called this is called cross-dressing man this is a evil wicked spirit and the lord is not with this man okay for a man to wear a dress and a woman to be wearing um baggy pants and clothes and you know, well first of all women supposed to wear, wear pants at all you know your woman's supposed to wear dresses and skirts so that's why whenever a man um whenever a man is trying to impersonate a woman what does he do he puts on a dress and a skirt that's what a woman's supposed to be wearing OK, um, it's hard to tell that a man is persecuting is, uh, you know, um, per uh, per per perpetrating a woman if he's wearing pants. All right. So but I remember I, I just remember being in school and this, you know, there was um, they would actually have this, you know, they would actually, um, you know, and, and me personally, I was never with it, man. Though Through the whole week, I never I never participated in it. You know, I never participated in none of that madness, man. It just wasn't in my spirit. And, you know, everybody would look at you like you was an oddball or whatever. But, you know, now we understand why, man, because this is wicked, man. This, this is a, 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 a demonic spirit. And the schools, these schools are pushing this. OK, these, these schools are pushing this, man. All right. This man got this man probably got a girlfriend somewhere at the school and she, you know, standing, you know, look, looking at him looking crazy. And it's supposed to be funny and stuff, man. But what you don't realize is that when a man puts on a dress, that puts any feminine spirit on you, man. Okay, uh, a, a a a a a feminine spirit. Okay, and then you start thinking you're a woman. You you, you see, they ain't just got the dress on. Now they gotta act like the woman. You know, he got he, he got his hand a certain way and stuff. And they think it's funny, but really you don't realize that you people are enter are entertaining demons. Okay, you are entertaining demons, and these demons are gonna uh, um cause you to be destroyed and uh, and eventually they'll overcome you. Okay, this is wickedness. All right, but let's go ahead and um grab some scripts. Touching on this point, like I said, I didn't want to make this too long, but I just thought I was crazy, man, because, um, you know, I, I, I remember being in school, high school, and Jake was doing this, man. You know, I never got with it. I was never able to, you know, I, I I was never, ever, you know, about to go come to school in a damn dress, man. Okay? And that just shows you a, a majority of these Jakes, man, if they don't repent, man, they're going to be destroyed, man. You know, this is some two-thirds spirits that, you know, out here for pleasure and fun and think everything is a joke when 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 it's not all right it says deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5 the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man which is what pants that's why you women that's why pants ha ha have a zipper on them okay they have a zipper because what um when a man wears pants he uses his he unzips his pants to use the restroom you know that zipper is for how you relieve your, your yourself OK, but a woman, when she wears pants, what does she have to do when she has to relieve herself? She has to come out of the pants. 
okay, she has to, she has to take the pants, you know, pull the pants all the way down j just to, you know, you, 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 you'll you use the bathroom. That should tell you something. Okay, not to mention what the pants does is, is it shows the woman's figure. So like, yeah, but that call, call, it causes men to, to uh, lust after her. Okay. And and ultimately and Jake to to, to, to to more you no know, death and destruction. All right, I'm gonna bring this back. Deuteronomy chapter twenty two, verse five: The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man; neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a man ain't supposed to put on a woman's garment. You're not supposed to be wearing a woman's clothes, man. As a man, you should not put on a dress, a skirt, makeup, a wig, wearing a purse. And, and 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 you you uh, see this in the music industry because what what do they do in the music industry now? All of a sudden you got all these ce ce celebrities that after they get high and um you know this world and famous and get all this money and stuff, you know what do they do? They start switching up and they start painting their nails and wearing skirts and dresses and trying to you know tell Jake to do, do, do the same thing because what they're being influenced by the devil. You see this the so called white man, he knows who we are. Okay, this is the man that's in power, which is Esau Edom, according to the Bible. He knows who we are, and he knows how to keep our power, our God, upset with us. All right, if we break these commandments, if we go on off and trespassing against our God, even with you know these stupid little you know joking and, and you know you know this, this this is something that you can stop doing, man. This is something, this is something that, you, that you can avoid. But Jake do it, and not only that, do they do it? They do it proudly, man. They do it proudly. Now this is an ignorance, obviously, but it's still proudly, man. You know. You got you got Jake out here that, that, that no ain't supposed to be doing this, but they still do it proudly. Okay, it says um, it says neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto Yahweh thy power. So abomination means you know the, the Lord is disgusted, man. He the, the Lord hates this. Okay, our Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is not approve of this, man. You cannot claim to be a follower of the Messiah. Or, or, or a, 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 a believer in the Lord and be doing this, man. Okay? It's that androgynous spirit, that Baphomet spirit, man. Okay? Trying to be a man and a woman. Okay? Confusion. This is why America is called um, Babylon, which means um, c confusion. This place is confused. Okay? It's absolutely confused, man. And the fact that, 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 that these kids, you know, really, really um, you know, adults, before they go off to, you know, live, you know, to, to be on their own as an adult. This is how Esau is conditioning them to um, live, you know, in wickedness. Okay. And this is exactly why, ultimately, the Lord has to come and destroy this place, man. He has to. He has to. You see, because if not, the, hey, man, this stuff ain't going to stop. It's only going to get worse and worse. All right. Um, on, so let me grab this real quick. Okay, because this is why you see Jake getting gunned down in the streets. This is why you see Jake getting put to death, getting locked up, you know, in prison and stuff. All this madness because, you know, hey, man, originally, hey, you people need to, you know, teach your kids the scriptures, man. Okay, teach your kids the scriptures. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6, which we all know. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You people are, hey, you, 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 you so-called black, Hispanic, Native Indians. You are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And this is talking about a degree. This is talking about a college education. No, a lack of knowledge of the scriptures. A lack, a lack of knowledge of who your God is, who your power is, man. Coming back to him. If you knew who, who, who the true God of the Bible was. And see, these would be the same Jakes that go to church every Sunday, man. Worshiping Jesus. You see, this, this is why that whole Christianity, plantation Christianity madness is garbage. Because it got you thinking you can do whatever you want to do. As long as you so-called believe. These people don't really believe, no way, okay? This it, 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 it's all a facade, it's all a farce, okay? And um, you know, if they did believe, then they would they, then they would know the scriptures that I just brought out, okay? Where the scriptures literally talk, speak against this, you know? Same thing about the silly jakes that go get tattoos of Bible scriptures, but forget the scripture where it says you should not make markings and cuttings into your flesh, okay? Our people are in ignorance. So let's bring this back. Hosea chapter four verse six. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. So because you, Jake's reject the knowledge of the most high, you reject the scriptures, you reject the Bible. You, you, you ultimately rejecting the Lord. He's going to reject you. You know, this is why you see Jake getting gunned down. This is why you see Jake getting locked up in prison. You know, when, 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 when you got, you got, um, um, a bunch of our women, you know, going missing, 
out of nowhere, you know, uh, 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 you know, get, get, getting put to death and nobody's getting charged for it. Jake getting sl slain in the streets and, and nobody's getting charged for it. This is why. Because you have rejected knowledge. When, when, you, when the prophets try to tell you to stop doing this madness and to seek the Lord, it's a joke. It's a game. You know, you want to scoff and mock. It says, I will also reject thee. The Lord has, is going to reject y'all for this, man. If you gonna you reject the Lord, the Lord's gonna reject you when you when you, when you need him the most. He gonna he gonna he gonna he, hey, he gonna leave you out there, man. The Lord said ultimately he gonna leave you out here to melt. He gonna leave you there to melt. I'm talking about here in America. But what happens before the missiles even get here? Okay. Jacob's trouble. Esau coming down with great wrath, death and destruction, more pe more pestilences. A a a a a you, you thought you think you thought the C nineteen was, was bad. Wait till you see what they about to come out with, man. You you hear about America has had over thirty bio labs in ukraine this is why russia is invade is invading U ukraine right now because they have bio labs there and those bio labs they were um um experimenting with um um you know pathogens to pretty much try to take over the the, 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 the damn russian government so what you think they're going to do with all them pathogens that they were studying on man what, what, what you think they're going to do with them they're going to they're going to release them out here in this public and people going to be dropping dead man and this is why you need the lord Without the Lord, you know, a mask ain't gonna help you, man. And you see, they're bringing back the man, the, the, the mandates. Okay, <laughs> this thing, this thing is far from over, man. Okay, it says because I will reject thee, thou shalt be no priest to me. The Lord is not going to cause you to be, you know, he 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 ultimately not going to bring you bring you into this faith. Okay, because because a priest is, is is supposed to be a, a, a teacher of the law. You know, he's supposed to be t telling the um, you know, t teaching you your people. But if you're doing abominable shit like this, the Lord can't deal with you, man. You know, unless you repent, the Lord is not going to deal with you. It says, um, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. So because because you forgot the law, you forgot the most high. The Lord says he's going to forget you and your children. This is why you see Jake, you know, um, what's the what's the kid name? Um, um, Michael Brown or whatever, you know, um. Tamir Rice, all these, all these little jakes get getting put to death, you know, because what ultimately, you know, they wasn't, um, you know, their, their uh, parents for, for, for forgot the most high and ultimately they forgot the most high or rejected the most high and getting destroyed. OK, let me grab this real quick. This is Proverbs chapter 22, verse six, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. So when you, if you have a child, you're supposed to train up a child, raise a child in a way that it should go according to the scriptures for, a, a, as a child, you know, you, and you can tell these Jakes don't have no father figures in their life. They don't have, their they fathers ain't around because you had a father around. Your father wouldn't allow you to come out of the house like this, man. You know, hey, shit, my dad would have never allowed me to come out like this. I would have got my ass beat at the door. All right. And, and this is what a lot, a, lot, a lot of these Jakes need, man, you know. They got, they got no, no fathers at home or, 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 or the fathers ain't fathers. Okay. You're supposed to, train, you're supposed to raise, raise the child according to the scriptures so that when they get older, they'll know better to, than to do this wickedness, man. But like, like we said earlier, there's no um, knowledge. Our people ain't seeking the knowledge and, and they reject the knowledge of the most high. So what? They find themselves doing this stupidity, man. Okay. It says when he is old, he will not depart from it. All right. And these jakes have departed far from the truth of the Bible, man. Okay, um, let me grab this real quick. I want to grab, uh, just showing you how Esau knows, and this is why they put this shit in these schools and stuff, because Esau knows all about, um, you know, why, you know, or, or they know all about how to keep us in captivity, man, how to keep us at the bottom. And ultimately, that's because what, if we trespass against our God, then the Lord is going to, you know, um, 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 punish us, and they'll have power to be able to, to rule over and, and, and destroy us. But if we come back to our God, and the Lord is going to defend us. The Lord will fight for us. The Lord will deliver us. But that, but that's what they don't want you to know. You see, that's why they fill your head with all this garbage and you know all these different religions, and they think that you're telling you can do whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, which only going to lead you to death and destruction. And then, and, and and that's the grand scheme of the devil, man. You know, he wants to put you, um, and and you know, <laughs> in a, 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 a mental prison. Where, where you just lost and confused and don't even know who the who the Lord is or even seek the most high. So all, all you get led all the way up into the missiles, <laughs> you know, and then it's, it's, it's too late. It's going to be too late. It's the book of Judah, chapter 5, in a, uh, verse 20 in the Apocrypha. 
Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people and they sin against their God. So this is a heathen talking to uh, his Lord. You know, imagine pretty much like, like OK, you had um, Israel, you know, one nation, you know, off in a distance. And this was another nation coming to war against Israel. And he's making a point to his uh, Lord saying his, you know, pretty much his, um, uh, uh, how, 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 how you say it in this world, um, his military advisor or his commander, okay, for lack of, for lack of better words, he's, he's, he's telling him that, listen, we, if, if, if these people are sinning against their God, we can overcome them. But if they're not, then, then, then we're going to have to leave them be. All right. And this is why. Verse 20. Now, therefore, my Lord. And governor, if there be any error in this people, meaning you are, we, we, we are sinning against our, our God, trespassing against our God, all right, and serving false gods, if there's any error in this people, um, and they, like if there's any error in this people and they sin against their God, notice they ain't, he, he, they ain't say against the God or our, or our God or um, everybody's God. He said their God because everybody don't have the same God, man. You know, we have a particular power that is a true power. All these other nations are worshiping idols. It says, and they sin, and they know this. They know that we have the true, true power. And this, and this is what they're afraid of. That's why they keep us in the predicaments that, 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 that they do. They treat us the way they do because ultimately they, they want us to um, stay as far from our power as possible because once we go back to our power, the Lord is going to fight for us. It says, if there be any error against this people, and they sin against their God. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go down. Let, let us go up and we shall overcome them. So if we, if, we, if we doing shit like this, OK, men wearing dresses, women, women trying to be men, um, you know, Jake, I heard, you know, committing adultery and stealing and killing and all types of madness, man. If you keep doing this. Hey, and this is why Esau promotes this madness. That's why he put he put, he put it in, 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 in. Hey, you heard the damn nigga music playing in the background, man. Okay, I, I, for a second hour, all I heard was murder, murder, murder on, on, on that song, and that's that, that's a vibration that's being pushed. Jake be listening to this shit loud as hell, and their headphones be wondering what, why why they got an itch to kill somebody. You know, these are demons. These people are putting spells on you, people, man. You Jake's got to wake up. It says verse twenty one. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, meaning if, if we ain't going off, if we, you know, serving of the, the, the Lord and keeping his commandments to the best of our ability, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them and their God before them. And we become a reproach before all the world. So the heathens know this. The heathens know that. Listen, if we if, if, if these people are serving their God. Leave them alone because if not, hey, their God is going to fight for them, and we and and, and we're going to be d d d d destroyed. But on the other hand, they know that if we are already destroyed and we've been wicked, if we trespassing against our God, then they can come over there and do whatever they want to us because our God is not going to defend us. All right, and this just go to show you that um, you know, a hey, <laughs> these heathens know what's up, man. You know, and 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 the, the only thing is we didn't know what was up. OK, but now in these end times, we have been, you know, you know, the, the Lord has made us hip to this understanding, you know, and, and to his word and his doctrine. OK, and we can't be fooled. But for 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 for, for the majority of our people that they, they, they're too far gone, man. You know, Second Corinthians, chapter two, verse 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And this is part of his devices, man. He pushed. Some some call it spirit week where you can where you wear a, a a gender swap. You got grown ass men with beards out here wearing dresses. Men trying to I mean women women trying to dress like men. Next thing you know you know these niggas being to be in the bathroom, you know doing you know fellatios and shit. That this is what happens, man. This is a spirit that that, that you are you know joining your, your 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 self too. And then what happens whenever you can't get it off you? Now all of a sudden you you you, you, you talking about how how you can't stop being gay. This is why Jake be going you know. Going out bad, man. Why? Because you are giving heed to these seducing spirits. Hey, you are giving heed to Satan's devices, man. But us, that that's in the know, that's in the light, that have this truth, that have understanding, that have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we are not in the darkness, man. So we are not going to be easily deceived, and Satan's not going to be able to take advantage of us how you take advantage of uh, the rest of these jakes, man.
through the spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shah, we pray that we continue to endure in this thing, man, because, hey, it's about to get worse. It's about to get worse. You're about to see all types of madness, man. You remember, you remember Sodom and Gomorrah, how they were trying to, you know, pretty much rape, rape the angels. The angels came down, and, and, and the men wanted to rape the angels, man, okay? They thought they were, they were men, and they wanted to rape them. We're coming into a time where it's going to be complete lawlessness out here, and you're going to need the Lord on your side. If you don't have him on your side, you're already finished. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Shurala, Ababa Ball. Uh, Throughout your whole bash, my shaft, give me spirit through this lesson. Shalom.